hello guardians and gamers and welcome back it is tuesday august 15th and that is the time of the week for the reset we're going to be taking a look at what we have at the different vendors in the tower this week let's take a look at tess first and see what she's got so this week for the shaders right up front we got the butter bark shader we've got the atmospheric glow shader uh, we've got the uh, resurrected shadow transmat effect the uh, scrivener's skipper's ship and we have the peace by the water emote which honestly is a pretty cool emote if i had enough uh, glimmer or uh bright dust i would actually purchase it myself but i'm poor all right moving on what else can we buy for some bright dust this week we have the absolutely bombastic side eye projection for the ghost we have the outrunner weapon ornament for the arbalist which i picked up so i guess i wasn't that poor but i mean it's only 1250 bright dust so that's not too bad i just have to do some more grinding to get more things all right moving on over to the uh rapid response ship we've also got the jj2 research rover sparrow we've got the digital pet ghost shell and the other one that i picked up was the ionic fringe warlock helmet which is for the fallen sunstar which in my opinion looks absolutely amazing kind of gives that different look to it uh we've also got the circling sharks emote which uh i i'm not gonna pick that one up it's kind of meh i mean if you want to stand in a tub with some sharks circling around you it's your thing uh we've also got the resurrected shadow transmat effect the cannon fodder transmat effect the cabal entrance transmat effect and moving on to some more shaders we also have the argent uh Terratorn shader we've also got the laguna cruiser shader the butterbark shader again i guess we need uh two spots um we've also got the uh 44 steel shader let's go take a look at what banshee 44 has this week so this week for the weapons at banshee we've got the scathe lock auto rifle with under pressure and multi kill clip uh, we've also got the nezerax whisper glade with uh impulse amplifier and frenzy the combined action hand cannon with perfect float and air assault i i really never used these perks they might be good for pvp I, i'm not too sure uh we've also got the uh sail spy pitch glass linear fusion rifle with sideways and uh heating up uh, we've also got the night watch scout rifle with snapshot sights and demolitionist and we also have the legal action pulse rifle with moving target and wellspring uh we've also got the battle scar pulse rifle with perpetual motion and osmosis uh, the fugu 55 sniper rifle with four times a charm and vorpal the hand uh, the hand in hand shotgun with dual loader and golden tricorn uh, the memory interdict grenade launcher heavy grenade launcher with clown cartridge as well as disruption break i mean it's kind of an interesting perk but i mean it's not the best grenade launcher out there so we've also got the palmyra b rocket launcher with impulse amplifier as well as adrenaline junkie let's take a look at what ada one has this week for the armor set at ada one we've got the thorium holt armor set i took a look at everything there's there's no stats or anything in here that's of any good i mean if you want it for transmogging uh, but she also has the war cult scheme shader we've got the karyos black shader as well as the valkyrie zero shader this week the uh raid is last wish the dungeon is duality and and the nightfall is devil's lair so if you guys are looking to grind that nightfall this is the week to do that everybody thank you very much for checking out the video make sure you come and check us out live at uh, youtube.com forward slash at starset 7 gaming if there's any raids dungeons nightfalls that you guys are looking to do join the discord love to have you till next week you guys be safe out there and take care